All right, guys, we are back for a new episode here at DeGroff Shop, and uh, we are playing our solo team save here, just a reminder. So the goal is to play as long as we can and bring them to European glory. But uh, this is a hi the highlights from the uh, AZ game, and then we'll go through the scores from in the interlude since last episode but this is the last match that i just played and then we'll have the match for today as well so let's get into it we've got nemeth taking a throw it's a deep throw the keeper fumbles the ball and vandermuten puts it into the net easy goal for him and then vandermuten contributes again a set piece to the back post and it goes in the graf shop Goal from Banachek, his first ever goal for the club. And then another set piece at the near post. And this one is Banachek again, a brace. And then they break open our back line, a breakaway for their striker. Saved by the keeper, but an easy putback for Jamai. Makes it 3-1 to one in the 84th minute. And that's going to be how that one ended, right? No, it's not. Shed a hull. He gets a breakaway right up the middle, plays it into DeVries, and we see a rare score from him. Boy, he started the season so hot, didn't he? And I, I just expected a lot more from him. But an easy 4 1 win as we beat AZ, and that was in the Dutch Cup quarterfinals. So we are moving into the semifinals there. Chance for silverware. Chance for silverware. So remember, we our last match was the 8-0 dismantling at the hands of Ajax, and then we uh, had the highlights with Catwick. So since then, we had a 0-0 draw with Venlo, a 3-1 win in a friendly during the three-week break, 3-2 win over Feyenoord, DeVries with a brace, Nemeth with a goal. Heracles, we beat 2-0 in the third round of the Dutch Cup. Philip Rasmussen and Timothy Stretzloff with goals. PSV, we lost 6-1. to one. Thankfully, that didn't happen on camera, but it was brutal. NEC, a 2-2 draw. DeVries and Macaui as the two strikers partner up. A 3-0 de defeat to Vitesse. And then a 4-1 win over Sparta. DeVries with a brace. Stretzloff. And Quasi with a second half goals there. Taking a real quick look at the squad. So DeVries now sitting 14 goals in 22 games, three assists as well. Quasi with six goals, four assists, and Shedahull, six goals, three assists. And there you can see the rest of the goal scorers, five for Macaui. And Stretzloff, four goals in eight matches with two assists. Now, of course, we have been through the transfer window. So if we take a look at what has transpired since January, we have sold Thibaut Martinez, my, my guy I wanted to like so much and I wanted to give opportunities to, $625,000 to Luzerne. Taking a look at what he has done since leaving, he has yet to make an appearance in Switzerland for their side. John Toll goes off to... Schaffhausen for 220k and Ken Stevens $12,750 to Vadovra. And then on the incoming side, only one player, uh, Banachek from Sibernek for 235,000. Let's take a look at him. He is a 22-year-old defender on the upswing, three and a half star current, four star potential ability. First time he has moved clubs for a fee, but you can see he came up through the Croatia system in the second league. So he has made the jump up to the Arena VC, and he can play center back and right back. Heading is a little lacking, but we know that that's something we deal with here in the Netherlands. But very, very good physicals, concentration, bravery, teamwork, uh, like a lot of his ratings, tackling and marking are solid. And uh, he has started four matches for us in league, two matches in the cup. So he is doing the job for us so far. As far as competition-wise, we are sitting 11th. 
So again, we're only supposed to fight bravely against relegation. We're sitting on 30 points after 23 matches, uh, 9 wins and 11 losses, something we would like to get a few more, but, you know, we get we can't uh, we can't get ahead of ourselves here, right? So just the big thing is to stay above relegation, and we are 11 points clear of any relegation battle. So right now I'm pretty comfortable with that. Fingers crossed. We'll see. All right, we'll be right back for today's match. All right, we're gonna go with a little bit different uh, rotation today. I'm gonna drop DeVries back into that number 10 slot and bring McCowie in, and that way we've got our three top scorers uh, up in the attacking spots. Quasi and Rasmussen on the wings, Merrick in the back line. We're gonna bring Cohen in for uh, Banachek, who of course, the new signing that we just brought in in January, but uh, we've got some fitness concerns with him and Taruta still coming back from an injury. So we've got to nurse these guys through. And uh, we are going to kind of get them uh, a little healthier before we play them again. And we are probably resigned to the fact that we are going to lose our young star goalkeeper. He has been angry upset we've gotten him through that little fiasco and and now he just will not discuss contract offers with us saying that he doesn't feel that we have the caliber team that he needs to play with and so he has one year left on his deal so i am probably going to try to cash in on him at the end of the season when we've got a full year on his deal um, also uh, hopefully it's nothing but uh, you know we're all friends here so I try to be you know open and honest as I tell you you get real life with me uh, so you're aware my daughter tested positive for COVID about two weeks ago uh, in fact she comes out of quarantine I'm recording this uh, on Thursday, Christmas Eve, so a very Merry Christmas to everybody. And a Happy New Year, because it'll be closer to New Year when you actually see this video. But she comes out of quarantine today. Uh, we've been quarantining in the house. She's been separate. Uh, but my youngest son started running temperature a couple of days ago. He's the one that had cancer a few years ago. So we went and got him tested yesterday. And so we should have that back beginning of next week if he's positive or negative. Now, I tested negative about a week ago. But they told me, in fact, it was right when my daughter tested positive. I went like the next day. And I got the, the rapid one-hour test done and uh, came back negative. But they said, you know, you, may, you just may not be showing symptoms yet. You may not have been exposed yet. You know, it's hard to tell. And I'm actually recording this at 4.10 in the morning. Uh, my insomnia kicked in for one. And uh, I did wake up uh, with a uh, sore throat, some chest congestion. So... Hopefully it's just a winter winter flu, but you never know because uh, I do get the winter flu just about every year. But um, hopefully I'm going to keep track of things and monitor it, and, and uh, I may go get another test done. Uh, you know, there's a the two to five day test, and my insurance covers that, so we may do that. But uh, anyway, I'll keep you guys in the loop. But if if uh, you know. All of a sudden, a video doesn't appear one day that it just may be I'm on the shelf and all. But I'll update you guys uh, on Twitter and let you guys know if something's going on. Uh, but anyway, wanted just to let you know. Well, let's get into today's match. Hopefully, all that turns out to be nothing. And hopefully, we can play some good football today. All right, we are in the green. Hopefully, if you are colorblind, you can see this well enough. I guess uh, I've, I, I know a few people that are colorblind, but just not real close, you know? So it's, it's just, it's been odd lately just to see how many colorblind people there are on YouTube. Um, 
I guess that's, you know, I just didn't realize how widespread that was. Oh, by the way, uh, in the Dutch Cup semifinals, we drew top of the table PSV. So probably no silverware for us this year, unless they play a weak squad. Oh, my God. He just got around the defenders so easy right there. Thankfully, his... Uh, whether that was a shot or a cross, it didn't go in. <laughs> oh, nice chest down by DeVries. He's got some space. Laid off. And, oh. Thought that was going to be a good play. Did a layback. Big power shot, but right into a defender. All right, let's encourage him. Oh, he was looking top bends on that back post, and it was close. It was close. I have uh, I've started a solo save just that I'm playing on, on my own, uh, and I am really, really struggling. It's a lower league, and uh, I'm not using my plus 30, so I did a new, oh, there's a shot, and it gets played over the bar by the keeper. Good save. But my, my manager ended up being 14 years old because I forgot to change the, uh, <laughs> I forgot to change the date of birth on my guy. And uh, so, yeah, I've got a 14-year-old uh, manager, and uh, he's having a lot of issues with uh, respect. Oh, there's a big ball over the top. McCowie runs onto it. Too heavy a touch into the box. Let's demand a little more. But I don't know if it's the age thing, which I don't I, – you know, I, 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 oh my God. That was a dangerous ball right into the middle of the action. We are struggling at possession, which is not something we usually struggle with. But they are really moving the ball around us. Burrell with a big save knocks it over the bar. But yeah, but I'm struggling in that. None of none of uh, I, you know, the tactics aren't working. I, I've I've tried three different tactics, and we were supposed to finish in the top four, right? And that I think I'm going to make a halftime sub here. Quasi's playing poorly. Uh, let's see, Nemeth's not playing well. Quasi's really playing badly. All right, let's bring on Blondell. I mean, you know, we are playing well. Let's encourage him again. <clears throat> but I believe since I last recorded, there have been, there's been an update, I think. Could be wrong, but I think there has been. Ah... Uh, all right, you know what? We do need to go in here. I think, yeah, we're going to take off run at defense. And I'm not going to force that overlap. So let's confirm that. See if that freezes up a little bit more. Oh, he went for the ball. He went for it. Oh, no. Oh, good save. I tell you what, if we have to sell him, I am going to be so disappointed. I mean, that's the guy that we picked out. I mean, 17 years old, right? We gave him the start over a veteran. And this is how he repays us. Greedy, selfish, bastard. <laughs> Blondell, he's in, and that's poor. Mm. I think we probably should have done a little bit better there. Uh, 
Oh my God, Nateb, how did you not clear that ball? I'm putting that one all on Nateb. He let that go right through the middle. Where's he at? Okay, so keep an eye on the tab right here. Oh, that was piss poor. I mean, he's got nobody on him, and it gets he it just walks right through his zone to the back post. That was ugh. Oh, that one goes wide of the mark. All right, let's see here. A lot of guys are not playing well. I'm going to go ahead and take Banu off to get rid of a yellow. And I'm trying to remember the freaking league rules because one of the two saves allows five subs with three stoppages. <clears throat> and I don't think it's this one. All right, we need to uh, demand more here. Come on. Oh, my God. Just laser-like accuracy with that header and the cross. Both of those were really, really sweet balls. Well, checking for goal. I wonder why. I don't know what the question was. Offsides, possibly. Interference, maybe. Oh, must have been an offsides look for Grusha. Yeah. Nah, he was on sides. And this is going to tell us, yep, just on sides. Cohen kept him on. Wow. It's it's this point of the season that you start really hoping for the end of the season <laughs> so you can move on to the next next season and the transfer window and whatnot. I think we're going to be looking at a VAR review. The referee's coming in. It looks like they may have flagged off sides. Linesman has not moved. Disallowed. That's, that's heartbreaking. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look how close. No, that was that was not good. All right, and Nemeth for De Bruyne, possibly. Let's make them attacking. Rasmussen just went red. Probably should have brought him off, but sometimes you just have to turn red, man. De Vries. I really don't know if I like him back in that number 10 spot. I'd rather him be up top. And Merrick, if he would have taken that left footed, he could have gone near post and probably scored. Uh, and that was, the, that was the type of play when you saw the highlights last match against AZ. We put in two of those at the at the post. And we're just not able to do it here against the top level clubs. Uh Haravine is is number four in the table. Yeah, number four. Fourteen points above us, so you know, you do start looking at that and going, All right. And this is kind of what we're dealing with at Leeds in real life this year. You know, first year up in the premier, it's been sixteen years. And we really made, yeah, you know, we really only made two moves. You know, we signed, you know, well, three moves, but two two starters and one reserve player that would be considered, you know, quality players that are all internationals. But we still need to build you know that's not enough to remake a whole squad and you know it's going to take a couple of moves per year to really get your roster 
up to the level of clubs like Liverpool that have been there for forever, you know. So, you know, I think we're going to deal with the same thing here at DeGroff Shop. You know, the goal is to stay up, avoid relegation, make some more moves next year, and slowly improve the team, you know. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hands on hips. They did play well. We did lose 2-0, but they played well. So, can't be too disappointed. Well, that keeps us at 11th position, and we are still 11 points clear of relegation. So, I think that's all good. We are getting into the end of the season. I'm going to assume PSV is going to be a loss. So, what I really want to do... Let's come back for Utrecht and Willem. So we'll do uh, Utrecht highlights, and then we'll play Willem on camera. That'll be the next match, and then we'll end up with Gronigan and, oh, God. Do we want to end with Ajax? Jesus. You guys have already seen one 8 nil dismantling. That may not be the route to go, but it is the last match of the season. I don't think I have a choice. Really? So yeah, let's do that. Uh, I may I may show you some PSV highlights if it's a competitive game. Otherwise, and then of course, if somehow we win that match, then of course we have to come back for the final, whenever that is, which is probably end of the season, which means then we skip to an Ajax highlight Dutch Cup final episode for the season ender. I like the way that sounds. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks so much for hanging out. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.